The Termina is Nix for Teams. Imagine you're a payment processing engineer at Ambiguous Technologies, and you're looking to try EtherCalc on NixOS as a way to track account balances. You need to set up CI and then deploy it to Amazon. We'll start by making a new NixOS flake and turning on EtherCalc. Then we'll configure NixOS to use Determinate, a distribution of Nix that makes it easy to deploy applications in just a couple lines of code. Finally, we'll create a dev shell with OpenTofu in it. We use Tofu instead of Terraform. Now we're ready to use GitHub Actions to build our NixOS system. Since we don't have any CI set up already, we'll go ahead and use the Determinate CI, which makes it easy to build all of your Flakes outputs all at once in GitHub Actions. Let's also configure Determinate CI to push our Flake to Flake Hub when PRs merge. Since we use Flake Hub, everything we build in CI is pushed to a cache, which means that my coworkers and I are able to pull them and have a faster developer experience on our local machines. All right, Determinate CI is starting, which means it's looking for all of the outputs it can build in the flake. Now it's creating a GitHub runner for all of the different architectures it needs. In our case, it needs a runner for Linux and also Apple Silicon. Now Determinate CI is building the Linux machine and the dev shell on the Linux box and just the dev shell on the Mac. It looks like the builds have finished, so now the success job is pushing our flake privately to FlakeUp. The next step for deploying to production is for us to create an IAM role that the machine can use to log into FlakeUp. It doesn't need any special privileges, it's just how Determinate logs into FlakeUp. All right, that's done. Let's go register it with our FlakeUp organization. Now we're ready to deploy to production. We'll go ahead and make a new EC2 instance with that IAM role. First, we'll start with a NixOS AMI with Determinate pre-installed. In the machine's user data, we'll have it log in to FlakeUp using its IAM role. Now that it's logged in, we can use fhapply to download our machine's configuration from FlakeUp and apply it to the system. All right, we're ready to go. Let's boot it up. And there it is. In about a minute, Determinant was able to log into FlakeUp, download and activate the system's configuration, and it's now ready to receive traffic. We didn't have to touch it at all. The machine didn't evaluate any Nix expressions, didn't build any software. All it did was log in and immediately start downloading the closure. Now that the machine is up, we could run fhapply to deploy any updates we push. We could run that in a cron job or a systemd timer or using AWS SSM or any other management tool that we like to use. Thanks for watching.